Hey everyone, so I had a few people ask me how I organize and keep my space. So I'm just going to show you my little shipping station and where I put my earrings together. So I got this pegboard um, to put together some of my finished earrings and keep all of my tools. I have my Dremel, uh, ring sizer, shipping labels, thank you, stickers, pliers, pull punch, and some other things. And it's a great way to have everything just in arm's length. And this cool donkey. So let me just show you where I store my finished earrings that aren't put together yet. I got these totes or whatever you would call them from Walmart for like $2. And I just keep all of the earring pieces in there. And then this is a dresser, obviously. This is where all of my finishing stuff goes. So I've got my earring cards, my Dremel, Brasso to keep the brass looking good, some of my different findings and beads um, and posts for the earrings and just some other stuff that I like to keep handy when I'm putting orders together. So these are my wholesale cards and my thank you cards. I also have a stamp in here with some ink for my boxes. Here's my cutters for all my shipping labels and tape. I also have the jewelry cloths. Sometimes I include these with orders if it's a earring that could use a jewelry cloth. So and here's some other thank you cards I have. These are the pre-written ones, and then I use the blank pastel ones when I hand write my notes. The second drawer is like my packing material. So I use this pink crinkle cut paper. Here's uh, some more finishing for jewelry. Here are some completed orders that I have to pack some of my displays, and of course I always have extra wood pieces if I need to drill a bunch of earrings at the same time. And then here's some of my boxes, just some extra crinkle cut paper. And these I use for wholesale orders, um, and that's just a couple of different size boxes. And that's pretty much it. I create my earrings and bake them in another area, so I will make another video and show you that soon. 